Sibelius gives you a lot of control over how your score sounds when you play it back. And it does that mainly through the play tab. So I'll go there. And over here you've got the configuration. So this is a playback configuration. If you click on there, you see these are the options that are installed when you install Sibelius. All these Sibelius 7 sounds are the sound libraries that come with it. And General MIDI is the general computer sounds that we all know and love from years gone by. I'm going to play this score from here, from letter D, so you can hear it using Sibelius 7 sounds. So you get the idea for that. It's quite a good sound. It's quite a nice sound. Um, you can then control those sounds with a lot more control by using the mixer. And if you haven't uh, looked at the video on using the mixer, I would recommend you go and have a look at that just now. But if we're thinking about playback configurations, you may have noticed when you load a, a score, particularly a large score like this, that down here there's a wee um, indicator that appears saying that it's loading the sounds. And depending on the power, the, the power of your machine, depending on the, num the amount of RAM you have in your machine, depending on the type of machine it is, and depending on the number of staves and number of instruments in your score, that might take a wee while. If you feel that's taking too long, you can always come up here and try some of these other sounds. So Billy 7 sounds light, for example, um, is a much lighter set of sounds and doesn't usually take nearly as long to load. If you're writing a jazz piece, for example, you may want to consider using the jazz instruments and they include um, sp specific sounds for jazz like doits and drops and falls and so on. The chamber sounds are limited to the sort of sounds that you would find in chamber music. So it's single versions of instruments rather than full string sections and stuff like that. So it depends again if you're writing for chamber ensemble, it might be worth looking at that. If the quality of the playback isn't really important to you, you may well consider using General MIDI. What this will do is it will not use any of these audio sounds, but it will use just General MIDI playback, which is computer generated sounds. Let me just remind you how these sound at the moment using Sibelius 7. I'm now going to change this to General MIDI. I'm going to play the exact same part of the exact same score. Have a listen to the difference. So you can hear there's a definite marked difference in the quality of the playback. Sibelius so 7 sounds will always sound much better than General MIDI, but you do have to compensate by waiting for the, the sounds to load. Even if you're using a smaller score, like for example if I jump to this one here, which is a single piano part, um, using the configuration Sibelius 7 sounds, you can see the sounds down here will take the time to load. There you go, it's not too bad. I can then hit P to play them. That's a very nice sound, I'm sure you'll agree. And again, just comparing that to the general MIDI.
So the playback configuration is where you can determine what playback devices are used to play back your score. If you want to take it a bit more seriously, you can actually install separate sound libraries, which would then appear and make this list longer, and you can choose from those as well. But these are the ones that are installed by default with Sibelius.